Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy, Michigan, man. I tell you, I'm here to bring you guys a new uh, celebrity graves. We are here to visit architect Minoru Yamasaki, and we are here in Lakeview Cemetery. And I'm saying we, I'm with a friend right here. Hey, everyone. Daryl Turcott, and I'm going to put his link in description below. So you make sure you go, go follow him. But uh, let's get this adventure started. I cannot wait to tell you about this amazing person. All right, guys, if you... When you head into the cemetery, if you want to find his grave, you follow this road right here. And this is uh road then back to the cemetery. It goes all the way down. You follow that way down. And you're going to want to look for this sign. It says High View. You'll see that. But also some landmarks here. There's a gazebo. But he's all the way in the back corner of Lakeview Cemetery. And you're also going to see this grave marker right here on the corner. Right there. And you're going to follow this road. It curves off. And you're going to follow it all the way down this way, down to the, the curve up here. And Mr. Yamasaki is buried right by this great big pine trees between these two huge pine trees right here. And he's actually buried with, with a lava rock as his headstone. There's the lava rock, and there is Mr. Minu Yamasaki. Chief Architect of the World Trade Center, Minaru Yamasaki, was born on December 1st, 1912 in Seattle, Washington. He was an excellent student and entered the University of Washington. And after graduating, he earned a master's degree from New York University and immediately began working for several architectural firms. He developed impressive credentials working for New York firms Shreve, Lamb, and Harmon, who designed the Empire State Building as well as the designers of the Rockefeller Center. Over the years, he helped design some 20 buildings including the U.S. Consulate in Kobe, Japan, and Federal Science Pavilion in Seattle, Washington. In 1962, Yamasaki was commissioned by the New York and New Jersey Port Authorities to construct the World Trade Center complex. The project was immense. Seven buildings spread out over a 16-acre lot and two of the largest buildings, Tower 1 and Tower 2, reaching heights of just over 1,360 feet. Yamasaki's engineering plan for the two large towers would be based on his Seattle IBM building 
and that strength and integrity of the towers will be on the outside rather than the inside using high strength steel. The interior would have a central core but would mainly be composed of lightweight trusses. Also the trusses would be constructed on the ground and then hoisted into place which would greatly reduce the building time. Construction on the complex began in 1966 and was finally completed in 1976. And the towers in the complex were met with a little bit of criticism, but for the most part, held as an engineering triumph and made for a magnificent New York skyline. After the World Trade Center, Yamasaki continued to design many buildings, including the Performing Arts Center in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and the Federal Reserve Bank in Richmond, Virginia. Yamasaki died of cancer in February 1986, after decades of physical suffering. His health had been problematic for more than 30 years requiring numerous operations for stomach-related issues, and his increasingly heavy drinking, more than likely, helped the situation. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, smash that like, share, comment below, check out all the links below, go check out my friend Daryl's channel, I'll put his channel in the link in the description below, make sure you go show, show him some love, I'm tongue-tied. Uh, check out my boy Jared King TV. I want to say thank you so very much for uh, narrating this video. Much love, much appreciation. And we love Mr. Yamasaki. So until the next uh, adventure, guys, I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace. It's really quite going your way You got bad news that's confusing You got sad news that you're wounded And if it's like the worst time You're worried and scared and not fine You're feeling prepared with no signs But well, it'll be alright You just gotta fight What about things happen to the best of us it seems Like they should be blessed, they just might be Angels here as guests, teaching us to be our best When everything breaks at the seams And you feel like you're losing belief well, damn it, you just gotta stay strong When it all falls apart and goes wrong When you feel left out and so lost And it feels like you can't hold on Well, damn it, you just gotta stay strong Cause some And it hurts It's like you've been cursed by the world at its worst I'm sorry I know you can't see it But maybe all these things happen to you for a reason So stay strong and push through it Your willpower is everything you got, don't lose it And one day things will get better